because of the lighting in Steel Titans, but I think they're supposed to be silver. Nice guy, Wheelie! Big air, get the beacons. Nice, into the slap, Wheelie, got it. Let's get a backflip off the backflip container. Big air, got another beacon. Eight times combo, come on, give me another one. Oh, got the backflip, but I did not count on that, that, uh, that same combo. Got to re reset the combo. Hello and welcome back, everyone, to another exciting episode of Two Can Plays Monster Jam Steel Titans. And today, in honor of Tom Mentz announcing his retirement, I have decided that I'm going to play as Max D Gold because that's the one that I have unlocked. I have not unlocked the regular Max D. Plus, I like Max D Gold. I think it looks really sharp. I like the uh, the contrast of the silver spikes on the uh, the gold body and the gold rims on it. Uh, I also like Maximus back there coming out of the wall. I don't know. I just like it. But hey, let's get started. We're going to do our career mode plus. We're doing the outdoor arena racing. Let's get right into it. All right. This is the uh, Soap Tree Raceway. I don't think that I have a railway. Soap Tree Railway. I don't think that I've actually done this one. It looks similar to the, um, what was it, the El Toro Loco challenge map, but it just looks a little different though. So, uh, you know, let's, this will be interesting. We'll give it a shot and see where we end up. Looks like we've got a nice variety of racers. We got Blue Thunder, we've got Soldier Fortune, and let's go. We've got Pirate's Curse. We've got Alien Invasion, and we've got Mohawk Warrior. Great Clips Mohawk Warrior. All right, got a good start right out the gate. I'm way out ahead of everybody, which is always nice to be out ahead of everybody early on. Whoa, ah, it's told me I was gonna go this way, but I didn't realize it was gonna go this way. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Down the railway we go, don't flip. Oh, that was a great recovery. Nice. Over into the campground area, here we go. Oh, man. Excellent. That was very well navigated. What are we doing? Oh, okay, we're gonna go right up the railroad. Okay, cool. Like I said, this is the first time I've done this particular race. I was a little worried because I only upgraded Maxi Gold up to four, rank four, tier four. Uh, not up to tier five. But I seem to be doing okay. As long as I don't flip. Nice! Sweet, first place. Oh, jeez. Yes, I am the best. <laughs> oh, yeah. First place, got all the bonuses I could get. And in the series standings, I had 25 points. Pirate's Curse is next with 23. All right, let's move on. Ah, okay, so I thought we were going to do more outdoor, like, waypoint races, but I guess now we're doing a time destruction in Monster Jam University. This is definitely different in the New Game Plus than it was in the regular uh, career mode. Uh, so yeah, here we go. We're gonna do a time destruction in in the out in the Monster Jam University. Here we go. Oh, there's so much stuff to smash up here. So this is a lot like uh, Grave Digger's challenge that. Um, Ooh, hit him. Oh, man, I missed it. You know, the, uh, the the one where you're teleporting around all over the place? I think it was the second to last one where you've got all the teleports. Oh, come on. I wonder if, in the New Game Plus, if they're going to add in the time destructions in with the regular arena matches, and in the regular, uh, rather, career mode. That'll be interesting. It'll be interesting to see. I'm excited. Excited to con continue on. See, I don't really like this because everything's all spread out. You have to drive around all over the place, Ugh, especially when I do that. But I'm already in first place, so apparently I've got enough, even though everything's all spread out. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it for sure. So right now, I'm just kind of collecting stuff for fun. I do see there's a whole another section over this way. Let's come over here and get these. Woohoo! <laughs> Got some more chicken boxes and some more crates. Oh, there's not much over here. There is a box truck, though. Got it! <laughs> Smash! 
smash it all, smash it all. About 10 seconds remaining. Overall, that was not a very difficult time destruction event. Woohoo! <laughs> I've got a little bit of bonus time there. Let's just finish it off by smashing up these fences right here. <laughs> All right, that's going to finish it off. All right, I got first place in that event, and I got my engine up to level five from that. Nice. <laughs> All right, here we go. Crestview Trail Waypoint Map. And we've definitely done this one in the past. Done this one a few times. The usual suspects. I really like Alien Invasion. He's become one of my favorites, I think. Three, two, one, and go. Ah, oh, just an early start, man. Oh yeah, we definitely have done this race multiple times. I absolutely remember this one. And we, even despite the early start, I'm still out ahead of everybody. You know, New Game Plus, they're definitely harder, but I think because my truck is upgraded, it's not that hard. <laughs> Here we go on the up-downs. Woohoo! You know, after, if you haven't seen it yet, they, I just made the ultimate guide with all 50 locations of the hidden collectibles uh, in Steel Titans 1. I'll put a link up in the top right corner. But that guide de definitely helped me to uh, understand the map a little bit better, understand all the locations and the tracks, and uh, I definitely know the map so much better after doing completing that guide and uh, you know finding all 50 of those locations. And I think that's the whole point of, of uh, doing that, getting all those collectibles, why they have them in the map, is so that you can familiarize yourself with all of the map and knowing where everything's at. Oh, I hit a rock. Oh, good. I did not rotate too bad, though. Here we go. Coming on to the last waypoint. Everybody's behind me, but I've got a pretty commanding lead. Nice. First place finish. Tom Metz and Max D is definitely showing what he's made of. <laughs> oh, man. I got tires up to level four now too. That's pretty cool. They're really giving me some nice bonuses. All right, next up is
points ahead of Blue Thunder, so I'm okay. All right, next up is Gold Dust Day. This is the Rhythm Race. I think I'm gonna go all the way through and finish out this, uh, the outdoor uh, championship. Cause I really wanna unlock those waypoints and stuff like that. Uh, the, the races, you know, the races that I haven't done yet. Three, two, one, go! This is one is a, the long, long, long one where we hit the rhythms all the way through and I usually end up just way out ahead of everybody. We'll see if that holds true. The AI is so funky. They do crazy weird things. They always want to go back to their usual track and so they like crash into each other and... But you can tell they're just AI doing AI things. <laughs> now Pir Pirate's Curse is like, I'm tired of being in the back of the line. I want to be in the front. Woohoo. Up oh, and over. It's like the Vomit Comet. Do you guys know what that is? That's what NASA uses to train astronauts to go up into space. The airplane goes up and then down again and up and then down again. And they call it the Vomit Comet because, oh, geez, hey, alien invasion. Because a lot of people vomit on it because the G-forces involved really make you sick to your stomach and you... <laughs> But you do experience weightlessness for a while there, like uh, up to a minute, I think, or three minutes. Wow, they're keeping up to me this time. What do you guys think? Would you ever want to ride the Vomit Comet? The weightless weightlessness simulator? Where you drive, you, it's a parabolic flight is what they call it, where you go up and then down. Like you, I think when you're going down, you experience zero, like complete weightlessness, zero G. And then when you're coming back up, you experience two times the Earth's gravity. So you're like stuck to their floor. They have like padding in the airplane. I love space. Space and NASA is just, that's my favorite thing. You, you guys, longtime viewers of the channel know that space is my thing. Woo, there we go, I won. <laughs> And there's Pirate's Curse, like, dang it, curses. I would have made it too if it wasn't for Max D. Okay, next waypoint map is Fossil Ridge. This is another one that I haven't done before. I hope I can do well on it. Looks interesting, so it looks like it's gonna start over in the Monster Jam University area, kind of go over into the Titans Grove area, and end up in the Beacon Point area. That'll be interesting. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Nice, perfect start. I can get way out ahead of everybody. Through Monster Jam University we go. Nice. So far so good, don't hit that berm. Oh, good. That could have been pretty disastrous. I don't like jumping. I don't like jumping over that rock. I know pretty much everybody else is gonna jump over the rock, but I don't like doing it. It usually sends me flying. Going up over this ramp. This is the ramp over into the Titans Grove area where Gravedigger hangs out. Woohoo! So far, so good. We're way out in front of everybody. <clears throat> so speaking of space, did you guys know that next year in April, April 2024, there is gonna be a total solar eclipse. Uh -oh, where do I go? I'm guessing I come back around. Yes, okay, good. <laughs> There's gonna be a total solar eclipse. So the moon is gonna pass in front of the sun and block it out completely for most of the United States, and it's gonna come right over where I live in Dallas. And so I'm thinking I'm gonna live stream it because that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I can't wait, personally. I've been waiting for it since the last solar eclipse that I totally missed because I didn't live in a part of the country that experienced the total solar eclipse. So I, the where, where I lived, it kind of made the sun 
No. No, no, no. Get up. Get up. It kind of made the sun cast shadows that were crescent shaped. And it was kind of interesting. Nice. First place. But yeah, I think I want to live stream the total solar eclipse next year. I think that that would be pretty cool. All right. Next race, Hairpin Canyon Waypoint Race. Let's get going. Wow. It looks like there's multiple ways we can go. Okay. Another new track. I have not done this one before. This would be interesting. Multiple ways we can go. Oh, I'm excited to try this. Here we go. <laughs> Looks like I waited a little too long between um, between races. We're all sorts of muddy here. Three, two, one, and let's go. Got a good start there. That's that's funny. We're all muddy. <laughs> no, I landed right on top of Mohawk Warrior and flipped me. Oh, <laughs> I think I got. I think I got Blue Thunder there. Alien Invasion is taking off in the lead. I've caught up to him already, though. Oh, man. I made life a little miserable for him there. Through the parking lot. Coming around this way. This looks very familiar to me. Like, it looks a lot like the uh, one of the Gravedigger race, or no, I'm sorry, one of the El Toro Loco races. The challenge race. Yeah, this looks totally like the El Toro Loco challenge race. And there's not multiple ways to go. There's only one way to go. I don't know why it was showing multiple waypoints and directionals pointing in different directions. Maybe what we're going to do is we're going to take a loop. I bet that's what it is. We're going to do a loop and we're going to hit the same waypoint at just at different times. Yeah, that's what it is. So now we're going to hit this waypoint. Oh, geez. Hi, guys. Can you move? Thanks. That's all it was, is that just there are waypoints at the same location, just in different directions. That was kind of weird. Anyway, we no backup. Oh, geez. OK, OK, here we go. We're still in first place. I had a, a little bit of a mistake there, but corrected it, corrected it. Here we go. Two more waypoints to go. Final waypoint up ahead. Come on, let's go. Where's it at? Where's it at? Oh, there it is, right up there. I have done this one before. I've done this one multiple times before. Got it. Nice. First place win. Nice. There we go. Wow, what an ending. <laughs> There's my dirty Max T. <laughs> All right, just a couple more races to go. This is the Titans Grove Waypoint Circus. I'm sorry circus this is the titans grove circuit race here we go now this is the long one this is the home of the broken wheels as, as uh chocolate drive puts it so we're buckle in for a long ride three two one and go there we go nice perfect start got out way ahead of everybody else we're gonna be driving this one for a while it goes round and round and round at least it's not the haunted forest, right? <laughs> all right, so I'm going to tell you what I've been doing. There. The reason why my trucks were all muddy is that I actually went out. I took my boys out to, to school and then on the way back from school, I went stopped over at Walmart and at Walmart. I did a little bit of toy hunting, found some toys. No, get back on track. Get back on track. Oh, whoa, geez. OK, well, that works. Anyway, found a few Spin Master toys uh, and uh, nothing really too exciting. Although I did find, well, I found the, the new Goldie, the Monster Mutt Goldie, which I'm excited for. I'm going to do an unboxing video for that one real soon. And I found a couple more from uh, Series 31. None of them that I'm really excited about. I did not find the chase piece. Man, I cannot find the chase pieces for those, the, the, any of the new series anywhere, like the uh, the uh, the food trucks can't find them anywhere. I don't know if they just get scalped before I can get to them. I don't know what the deal is, but I cannot find those chase pieces anywhere. It really frustrates me that I can't find those chase pieces. But uh, like I said, I'll do an unboxing video for the, the Series 30 ones that I did find. I also found the uh, the new Series 3 of the double pack NASCAR uh, uh, Blue Thunder. 
which I'm going to unbox that one as well. I'm excited for that. And then I was looking at the uh, the King Crunch, the, the Kings of Crunch series, which, you know, not by Spin Masters, totally different brand, but I, I kind of want to start collecting them. I know my wife would be so mad if I started collecting a new series. Uh, if you guys are interested in this Kings of Crunch, let me know in the comments. I will I will start collecting them, but you guys got to watch the videos, like them and share them so that I can uh, justify buying them. Otherwise, my wife's going to get mad at me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, I recorded a few of the Kings of Crunch and then they, there's also a new series called. Um, well, I don't know how new it is. It's new to me, but it's called Just Trucks. Uh, Aiden's Custom Trucks is a cool channel. Check him out. He turned me on to uh, the Just Trucks line. And they are basically, they're real life trucks. So like there's a Hummer, there's a Jeep, there's a Ford F-150, a Dodge Ram, all kinds of cool trucks. And they uh, they look, they're a little more expensive. They're like $8, um, but they look really, really sharp. Oh no, I'm sorry, the King Cru Kings of Crunch, those are the ones that are $8. The uh, just trucks, those are like $4. Um, but yeah, they look really cool. I kind of want to start collecting those too, because Man, especially the Jeep Wrangler. Like I said uh, before in other videos, I used to own a Jeep and I used to go off-roading all the time. I would love to start collecting like Jeep type stuff, but I gotta be able to justify it. So you guys gotta like, share, subscribe, share the videos with your friends so that other people can get into it so that I can justify buying, buying a new set of toy collectibles. I'm also thinking about doing, getting back into downhill racing. It's, you know, we, we took a break during summer doing the downhills on our, our track because it was just so hot. The boys were, my, my sons were complaining about how hot it was. Like, we don't want to go outside, it's too hot. So I kind of stopped doing that. My wife, she used to teach her, so she was home for the summer and she didn't want to deal with doing indoor races in the house. No! Okay, good. Whew. That wasn't too bad of a mess up. So yeah, we didn't do any indoor races. But uh, yeah, now that the, the temperature hopefully will start cooling off soon enough. You know what? I'm not gonna even I'm not even gonna fix the wheel. I'm just gonna keep going. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix the wheel, aren't I? Okay, okay, stop. Fix the wheel. Got it, okay, come on, go. Man. They made me fix the wheel. Here we go, coming over the finish line. Yeah, oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, that was the last race in this series and I unlocked a couple of cool trucks. I unlocked Monster Mutt Dalmatian, nice, and Dragon Overcast, sweet. And I unlocked the Arena Plus series and I got a 22,000 bonus reward, nice. And uh, an outdoor pack, I'm gonna guess that is some new maps that I unlocked. Yes, so I got the Dusty Donut now unlocked. And yes, I got Fossil Ridge, Hairpin Canyon, Hidden Hangar, and the Soap Tree Railway all unlocked. Awesome, I'm so glad for that. I had It's nice to have a, some variety in my Waypoint Outdoor Races. For now though, let's finish off this video with a freestyle here in Las Vegas. Sam Boyd Stadium, not quite, but eh, close enough. <laughs> And there is Max D Gold Maximum Destruction. Yeah, those, you know, they almost look black in uh, in Steel Titans. Go, there we go. But the, the, the spikes, the spikes I'm talking about, they almost look black just because of the lighting in Steel Titans, but I think they're supposed to be silver. Nice guy, Wheelie, big air, get the beacons. Nice, into the slap, Wheelie, got it. Let's get a backflip off the backflip container. Big air, got another beacon. Eight times combo, come on, give me another one. Oh, got the backflip, but I did not count on that that, uh, that same combo. Got to re reset the combo. That's okay. Get another big air, Sky Wheelie. Got a couple of beacons there. Whoa, did a little flip flop. Now stop with the flip flops. Yikes. Okay, get some crush cars there. Oh, got a nice little slap. <clears throat> oh, I lost my voice. What the heck happened? Lost my voice. Reset. Come on, get up. Get up. Everything just kind of went crazy there. I lost my voice. I lost my truck. <laughs> what are you doing? Come on, back up, back up. Let's come back over here. We'll hit the eight pack here. Got the beacons. 
Nice. Whoa! A little rollover, but that's okay. Recovered. We'll get another big air. Didn't count. Whoa! Why don't you like doing backflips off the backflip containers? This is what they're there for. Doing backflips off of. <laughs> We'll get a nice big air off this jump. Sky wheelie, got the beacon. We'll come over here, we'll get a bicycle. Yeah? You gonna give me the bicycle? You are, good job. Thank you, go uh, judges, for giving me that bicycle. Why did the, the, why did that combo end though? There was no reason for that combo to end. Whatever. I'm not in first place. Uh, I did get the crush cars. I got a beacon. Oh, almost got a stoppy. Not quite, not quite a stoppy. There's a wheelie though. Nice, got that nice wheelie trick. Let's come around over here. Ah, oh, big air sky wheelie. And they ended the combo again. I was in the middle of doing a sky wheelie and they ended the combo. That is so not fair. Man. That is gonna do it for this episode though. I'm gonna come over here and hang out by uh, the other Max D. Hey, what's up, brother? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out the video that you see on your screen right now. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side later. Woohoo! Front flip time. Nice.